So a very good win from Heliotrope, who was heavily backed all the way from 2-1, to one, touch 9-10 to 10 race time. Well done to Candace Bass Robinson, the daughter of Rafif, is a one-time winner from seven starts. Of course, to the Green Acres Trust, to Marsh Shirtliff, to Mr. D in the estate late, Dr. Hepburn Brown. Uh, obviously, a big well done to the partnership. Doey, good to see you as always. Uh, just to take us through the race, obviously, you would have had a good understanding of the form because you rode basic manoeuvres in its last start, the daughter of Lancaster Bomber, so decent enough form to win a race of this nature? Yeah, I think a bit of basic maneuver, so um, I thought she'd be a tough nut to crack here today. I'm glad to hear that she got backed in because my bank details on the side of my breeches, so well done to everyone involved, uh, Mr. Shirtless. It seemed to be a very important maiden win to him, Hepburn Brown, everyone involved. Cantering down, I was quite surprised because uh, I actually felt like a nice filly. I think she needs a bit of time. When she's chasing, she chases so fluently and she eats the front and she hovers. Good for minute rating, but uh, on the posit more positive side of things, she's there's something there, but she just doesn't know how to use it yet. So it's taken a while to win the maiden. I think she's getting the hang of things now. Uh, I think they'll have fun with her. Your dad, lovely to have him back from Australia. I mean, many punters are asking, how's he doing? I believe back at work and almost down to your weight now. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, not, it's not difficult to get to my weight. Uh, I think he's about a kilo or two heavier than you, but he's getting there, so he's <laughs> taken about 10 off. He seems to be quite happy. He's home now, so uh, he seems to thrive in these conditions. He's doing well. He's in a good space. and. Uh, once he gets those 15, 17 kilos off, uh, interesting to see what's to come. Well done, Dobie. Good to see you. Thanks so much, Brad. Thanks to the best team. Thanks for giving me these opportunities. I know they didn't want to use me here, but I'm glad they did. <laughs> Great stuff. Always a character. Well done to Aldo. Great to have him back in the winner's box. Heliotrope, the daughter of Rafif, is a maiden no more. <laughs> Thank you very much, Brad. Number one, Heliotrope, the daughter of Rafif, finally gets it right. And uh, Candice, well done. Thank you, Vicky. As Alda said, she keeps on getting there and threatening and threatening, but thankfully today she managed to get her, her head down. Yes, Vicky, she's a big filly. I mean, she's, she's looking for ground, so she's never going to be early. She's always going to take a bit of time. I know Marsh kept hacking me in the beginning to say, come on, get her out. She looks like she's going to be early. She's nowhere near being early, and uh, she's probably going to be a filly. I think that will go too far. So she's... She's very much a staying filly and she's slowly but surely made her way um, in the Maidens every single run. She's improved every time and I keep begging um, Justin for a Maiden over two form, but uh, I don't need it anymore after this today. So um, it was a nice race for her today because she drew well and uh, she showed some nice sort of pace in the race early on. A couple of her early on runs she's been battling to keep up with the field. So she's slowly but surely learning how to race now and uh, you know, when she strengthens up a little bit more I think she might be a nice filly later on over a bit of ground. Also a lovely result for the yard. Well done. Yeah, thankfully, it's been a short head seconds for most of the day, so it's nice to get <laughs> out of the second box. Well done to David and Marsh. Obviously to Sandy, who's not with us um, anymore, but it was, it was her filly, and uh, she chose her, and yeah, nice for all of them, so well done. Indeed, well done, Candice. Thank you. Next up, I've got, I don't know if uh, David's coming, but I know Marsh is coming. Lovely to chat to you twice in one day, Marsh. This is very encouraging. Twice in one day is a good, a good place to be. Yeah, two today, fantastic. It's a very uh, touching win for us. First win I've had with uh, Himal Nada, my good friend and partner, David, yeah? Um, and I think Candice has touched on the history of the filly. I bought the filly right here, and uh, Gail Pulpit from Bochabos pointed him out to me, uh, out to me after I was looking for some uh, United States horses and said, I said, I'm not happy about these United States fillies you got here. What else you got? And she pointed this out. And I sat down and um, at the sale, and the horse came up, bought the filly. Wasn't five minutes, Sandy phoned me, David's wife, and said, that's the nicest filly on the sale. Who bought that horse? Because Mike always signs for us. I said, I did. He said, can I please have a share? I said, what a question, of course. And she runs in your colours. Well, Sandy, that one's for you, darling. And also for Gail, who's up there with Sandy today. Very touching, as I said. And, uh, yeah, and thanks to Candice for getting him, getting her here today. And although a nice ride. Indeed. Well done, Mark. To David. Yeah, David, I just want to know if your, your outfit was planned. Very much not planned. <laughs> I actually found about after the whole sale had taken place, because then I had to take the filly back to the farm. Well, that's, thankfully it's all turned out to be a good story and uh, lovely to have a win today. Yeah, I know, it was fantastic and thanks to Marsh and to the Basses and well done to everybody and to Gail upstairs and to Sandy. Well done. Thank you.
Well then, to uh, David and Marsh being involved, and also to Wilk Drift and Bruce Fontaine for reading number one heliotrope. Patrons, please note, race five, number nine, and NASA's bomb has been declared a non-runner. So NASA's bomb has been declared a non-runner for the running of race number five. That is the outcome of the race review. Into the start of race number five, number nine, and NASA's bomb has been declared a non-runner by the stipendiary stewards. Much indeed, Dev. So just to confirm that, Anas's bomb declared a non-runner after a review into the start. And ladies and gentlemen, William, 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 ladies and gentlemen, introducing you all. I've been chatting to you 15 years with the Basses. Who's your favourite horse that you that you remember? Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens, your favourite. Yes. Do you remember Pocket Power and all the other great champions? Yeah, I know, but it's a long time. But as a Charles Dickens is now. That's why I chose as a natural tickets. You said you didn't want to talk too much. You've given us a nice story. How's Heliotrope? You happy with the win today? Yeah, I'm very happy too much. William, very well done. Nice to meet you. Thousand Rand from Hollywood Bets and Cape Racing. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done, Sir William. Works for Candice Bass Robinson. Been there since Mike Bass days. He's the winning groom of Heliotrope. His favorite was Charles Dickens.